Yo, what's up, my YouTube friends? It's your boy, Gizmo Trains. Here we are today. We just got in the Menards Beta 4.0 Blue Bonnet Santa Fe set. So let's get this bad boy open and check it out and see how it looks. So here we have it, the 279-9330. This sold out within an hour when they listed it. It's funny to me, the description. Scaled model locomotive, collectible for adults, AA set. Kids, sorry, you missed out. <laughs> All right, let's break this box open. See what we have inside. So as I said, this was their fourth release of this engine. Menards is scaling up operations, I do believe, to release their own locomotive line. It's going to be really interesting if they stay just with this Santa Fe Center, if they pick up other locomotives. Of course, they're very typical Bernard's bright explanation labels. <laughs> Train sounds! Two power motors, working lights, remote control. <laughs> I got some side labels here too. Let's check those out. So Santa Fe diesel locomotive powered and non-powered set. So gauge, ballistic train sounds. We have volume control of the remote. We got a horn, bell, and conductor with dispatcher talking. Of course, compatible with three rail train cars, including Lionel and MTH. Ooh, that's good to know. Navigate 031s and larger. So very good for those smaller layout folks. Working lights, we have the dome style headlight, forward motion, lighted cab, two figures, reverse lighting for the rear of the engine, and illuminated classification lights. So far, the weight feels pretty good. Uh, don't think any issues of traction or anything like that. The first one is the non-powered unit. So not a lot of weight in this unit. We don't uh, obviously have any motors in this one. You see where maybe eventually they're gonna plan to put some smoke units in here. I see a little hole. So that's going to be interesting. Nothing on the fans, all filled in. Not a lot of detail there, but hey, you know, this set was like 240, 30 bucks, 40 bucks, whatever, before shipping. So I can see in this set here, now this is a prototype kind of beta set, but you can see a little bit of overspray here on the yellow, but you know, again, Potentially just a test run and for the price, what can you really expect? Not very crisp here either. You can kind of see where this isn't very centered up. So definitely not the level of detail in MTH or Lionel models when it comes to the paint. But again, you know, we're talking about a two locomotive set for under 250 bucks. Not terribly bad. I will say the trucks are pretty well detailed. They're all chrome. I uh, wish there was a little more, I guess, coloring as far as maybe if they went black, but I will, I will say there's there's quite a bit there that doesn't look bad at all. So here's the back of the engine. But the paint on the side doesn't look bad. I definitely can tell there's, with the yellow, could be darker, maybe a you know a second application. Definitely, you can see the yellow here where the blue sort of fades into it. Not extremely crisp. Here's a locomotive figure. So uh, I don't know if I can pick it up on camera, but very basic. <laughs> Again, not the detail of Lionel, but hey, the price not terrible. So let's check out the powered unit. So here's the powered unit. Much more weight in this unit, though, which is to be expected. It's Two motors inside. There we go. All right. 
So I'll say the paint job on this one is a little bit better. We still see a little bit of bleeding the blue through the yellow. But the stripe, a uh, eh, little bit off centered, but Santa Fe logo looks nice. Again, very similar detail to the other non powered unit. Guess their attempt at maybe a builder's plate here, not very legible. Here's the F for the front. Again, there's engineer figures. Extremely, extremely similar to the B unit, just with motors. And again, there's those holes. So Menards, I think, may be planting smoke here in the next rendition or very soon. So here's a detailed look of the wheels and the drive mechanism. It looks like we have some plastic gears in there. And again, I'm imagining that is call savings. It's not steel like Lionel or MTH. You know, over time, I'm sure you'll get a little more wear and tear, but these are again, a budget model. And I did notice a chrome plate at the wheels. Um, not sure how that hold up long term. Eventually, I'm sure that would get some corrosion and whatnot, but it does have two traction tires here at the rear and two traction tires on the front and pickup roller on each truck. So you have your holes for a speaker and we also have diesel sound on and off switch. So I'm just gonna guess that's the master sound switch. There's a coupler, let's reload it. There's the release. Very similar to a Lionel car, stock car, box car, anything like that. Very similar design. So, again, not terribly bad for the price. I mean, a two engine set for under 250 bucks, pretty damn good deal. There's a porthole windows as well, they're clear. So, you know, not the greatest paint job. Can't expect, I suppose, for that price, it's gonna be absolutely perfect, but for a beginner, a kid, you know, starter set, you know, running around the layout, you're probably not going to notice too much unless you're looking really close. But overall, not too bad. Yeah. Here's the remote. I think this is going to be very similar to the previous engines. You can tell it's just stickered on, not uh, printed like the Lionel, but of course, very similar. And there's the uh, Renards Canine Dog German Shepherd. I'm not sure what his name is. Let me know in the comments. Let's get some batteries in it. And now, let's put it on the layout. All right, here we go on the layout. We have both engines connected together. Get a little bit of a closer look on and paired up. But yeah, nothing too extremely fancy. Very basic model. But pretty awesome to get two locomotives for under 250. So let's get some power here. Wow, so I don't have the remote turned on yet, as you can see. And we already have some diesel sounds coming out of it. So a little bit of that lighting, and it looks like they have a a bit of a blue tint here, but I would say the number boards are not very well lit. Let's see the back of right here. Well, holy cow, there is smoke coming out of this unit. I'm not sure if that's good or not. Maybe we should uh, check this out and see. So definitely. <laughs> Not a good sign coming out of the box. This thing is just oozing smoke. Wow. Uh, don't think there's a smoke unit in here. So I pulled it off the track. I'm not getting that with the other one. But definitely something is burning in this unit. So Menards. Um, not sure what happened to this one. But uh, no bueno. I'll pop the cover off of it. Alright, so here's a non-powered B unit. We have the shell off. And you can get a little bit closer look while we have it off at some of the very simple, simple electronics in this unit. A couple LED, a few LED lights, I should say. Uh, some of the 
crew figures here. You can get a closer look, very basic. But I believe I found what was smoking. If you can see, this capacitor here is uh, likely just a bad unit, maybe. It looks like we have some oil leaking out of it, and I believe that was what was causing the smoke. Um, you know, unfortunately, I'm sure these were kind of uh, produced at a rushed rate to get them out to do testing, and these things happen. Hopefully, no one else runs into this. I will give my feedback to Menards, and... I will update you guys on kind of what they come back with. I'm sure I could find one of these capacitors on DigiKey or some similar site, eBay, Amazon, and um, replace this, which is likely what I'll do. Be a good little weekend project. Um, and uh, see if I can get this unit back running. I don't uh, know if I want to put it back on the layout tonight with that capacitor. Maybe we'll do it just to verify that's actually what it was. I mean, what's the worst that we can do? Catch it on fire. So. If so, you guys get a good show. So let's go see real quick. All right, so we got it back on the track. I'm gonna apply power. Let's see what we have. You can see here as we're sitting for a moment, yep, this capacitor is definitely smoking. That's the problem. Let's just bust it. You see there's a little all over the place. So yeah, we'll cut it off again. Oh yep, it's about to probably explode. <laughs> Definitely smells terrible. So, yep, as I suspected, that was a problem. There's some of the uh, sounds. how much unique dialogue there is in this, I mean, for the price. I don't even know if you get that much of Lionel these days. Dispatch, I see the signal has gone from red to green. We are moving. So there's the yeah. uh, restart there. But yeah, quite a bit of unique stuff. Not too bad. It's pretty impressive. We have volume control here. Control like something like the uh, Lionel Legacy or Odyssey, but not bad on the response. You can hear that the diesel sounds increase as. I moved the throttle, so that's pretty pretty nice. A little bit of realistic uh, sound level there. So, all right, guys, let's see how it pulls a train. Uh, I have it hooked up here to small consist. I have quite a few diecast cars in here, O27 scale. So let's uh, see how it does a little bit of weight behind it. Well, 
was a little bit interesting. Uh, definitely didn't expect it to have an unintentional smoke show. Uh, however, you know, we are talking about a beta test and these things will happen when you're developing a product. So I'm not too upset considering the price that I paid. I'm sure Menards will make it right. If not, the capacitors are extremely cheap. And so I'm, I'm sure I can fix it and, and make it good as new. But, you know, overall, in my opinion, for the price, as I said several times in this video, uh, the, the locomotives aren't too terribly bad. I think they run very well. I'm actually very impressed with the sound set uh, as far as the crew talk. It's very cool. The speed control doesn't seem too terribly bad. I do like that the diesel sounds uh, increase as you increase RPM. Uh, the detail in the paintwork for sure could be a little better. I think maybe again, this was just a little bit rushed because of the uh, you know developmental stage of this. You know, because I've seen better paint on their boxcars and hoppers and, and rolling stock. So I know they're capable of it. Uh, so I think potentially just either this particular set was a little off or it's just being beta models. I, I would say I'm a, I think the paint could be better. I know Menards is more than capable of making it better, being what they have on the shelf currently in stock with their buildings and their rolling stock. But again, for the price, for two locomotives, not too bad. So hope you enjoyed checking these out with me tonight. And if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And uh, we'll keep you updated on what Menards comes back with as far as this other locomotive. Uh, so have a good evening. Take care.